Ever heard of an echo chamber? Have you ever stepped outside your filter bubble? We asked millennials, Gen Xers, and baby boomers about their news habits and how they handle fake news. Let's see what our participants had to say. Okay, had you heard the term before? By the term, I'm guessing you mean news literacy? This is probably the first time I've heard of it. I am not. I am not. News literacy, no, I'm not. Uh, very vaguely. No, I haven't heard of that term before. Am I familiar with the term news literacy? Yeah, yes I am. No, I've never heard of news literacy. I would think it'd be a person's level of news comprehension. Am I familiar with the term news literacy? Not exactly. The term I'm not familiar with now. News literacy? No, I do not believe I know what that is. Well, first of all, it's identifying the bias of the media that you are choosing to ingest. Do I know what a filter bubble or an echo chamber is? I don't. No, I do not. I just look for the different news sources and to see if articles match up. I do try and step out of the, the echo chamber. On the internet, if I look something up, they can track that. The filter bubble sounds familiar, but not the other one. Well, maybe I'm bubbling and filtering my own stuff on Facebook. Echo chamber. I'm not sure what that is. I have heard the term echo chamber. I've heard of echo chamber. I've never heard of filter bubble, though. Um, I've heard of it, but I do not know. Do you know what a filter bubble or echo chamber is? I've tried my best to not have a filter bubble. Do you ever step outside your filter bubble? I kind of check every source all the time. I'm always on Twitter, that's where they come up. You know, on my Facebook, I pretty much have an echo chamber because I do not like the arguing. I try to keep the algorithm guessing. I don't want to have that kind of news fed to me. I, I, I actually use YouTube, and I don't know if that, that's definitely not a credible source. If my media bias is anything, it's liking Joe Rogan podcasts. Um, probably. Not, not because I'm purposely not, like, trying not to. I investigate by reading multiple different news sources. Or just, like, it doesn't really make sense or add up. I definitely try to do my research before I just believe it. I don't pay much attention to what's on Facebook as far as news is concerned. I definitely do because I want to see other people's opinions. Um, I get my news from a combination of sources. It's, it's smart to question. So now that you know what an echo chamber is and how it affects your consumption of fake news, try stepping outside that filter bubble once in a while and take the time to double check those news stories.